When, when we came to Luca, Laura showed me this list of the top 10 climbs that you've got to do in Luca. The name of this website is called the Luca Cycling Club and these guys obviously know much more about the area than I do so if you want some help for planning your trip here, they're the ones to go to. Laura and I did our absolute best to do every single climb on this list including the hardest ones. I rank my list a little bit differently. Here are my top five climbs around Luca that I've chosen and I honestly cannot wait to show you the top three because they are amazing. Just heading over Pitaro right now and actually it's a nice smooth road. It's a good little bump. The roads are really quiet because all the cars go on the overpass. You kind of sit about between four and seven percent. It's not crazy hard and I imagine this to be Luca's version of the Californian hills. Maybe it's more the equivalent of Italy's Box Hill. About 500 meters from the top now and you can see the big boy mountains that we're heading to. You, uh, you don't get views like this in England. Uh, Pitoro, I rate it quite highly actually. Two out of five difficulty, what do you reckon Laura? Yeah, I'm definitely going for four out of five on the, on the enjoyment of the hill. It's beautifully quiet here and the road is beautifully smooth. It's kind of sitting around 5% at the moment and it's just a really nice climb so far. There are some bits of shade which are very welcome because the sun is beating down on us. You get some small kickers around these hairpins but it kind of levels off after then. If I had to describe the climb so far, it's like an endless snake of beauty and greenery. And that's not just because I'm following Laura. We're going through the town here now and uh, it gets a bit steeper as you go through here, but nothing you can't handle. And it looks like we're climbing towards this beautiful old church up here. It looks amazing. Four kilometers in now, you can start to really revel in these views. The town actually looks a lot better from above with all those red roofs church is beautiful up close but if anything it's more beautiful from a distance I think. Difficulty probably a four out of five is actually quite a tough hill you do have some steep ramps in there it is like five kilometers long so how, how much I enjoyed it that is a solid five out of five stars the views are quite frankly amazing. Here we are San Pellegrino no not the drink that's actually in the nor north of Italy in the Lombardy region uh, here in Tuscany, this is just the biggest, baddest climb here. It's, uh, it's a casual 13 kilometers long. So here we go. Of course, that's not the top there because this has over 1,100 meters of elevation gain. Three and a half K in. I honestly can't believe I've got 10 to go. I mean, look at me. It's just leveled off about 100 meters. And it lets me show you some of the views that you can enjoy on the way up. I'll see you probably about 5K. My goodness, the views are good here. We just had a bit of downhill coming from there though. So you know what that means. It's going to get steeper. When you finish, you go past this little sign here and you're done. Holy hell, that was insane. That ride is literally ridiculous. You are rewarded at the top. Off that finish line, there is another two, three hundred meters of like 14%. I mean, look at me. I'm dripping in sweat. Difficulty, forget five out of five, that's a 10 out of five. The views, five out of five, but in terms of fun, if you like the challenge, five out of five. If you don't, well, probably a two out of five. I'll let you enjoy the views whilst I just tell you about how hard the end bit was. It's, it's insane. So you go down this downhill, you pick up to about 40 k's an hour, start ramping up, and then you see a sign that says 18%. You look at the hill and goes upwards and he goes, you go, surely that's only, that's the only bit that's 18%. You do it for about 200 meters and it keeps going. And it's about 400 meters. The first one levels off to about 10% so you can recover. And it does this about six times, maybe eight times. I wasn't counting. And I was literally just on the edge the whole way. You are at close enough to 1800 meters here. So you're going to need your jacket for the way down. Apparently it's quite a consistent gradient around 7-8% this one so we'll see as we start to go up. It has had a good start because you do get this lovely seaside view on your way up. Sadly though 
I think towards the top the clouds are looking a bit more menacing shall we say there's also this lovely like castly fort thing in the middle of this hill in the middle of just by Massa here in a lot of ways the gradient hasn't been too bad it's going to be sitting around five to eight percent so so far it's been fairly comfortable about five and a half k in we've gone in from the coast into the valleys of the mountains the whole like 20k of this is a uh, five percent gradient so that means i think it gets a bit steeper even with the clouds here this is this is nice i was getting ready to give it a better rating because of the clouds maybe getting in the way this view really is delivering that's not snow up there those that's marble from here it looks like we're going to cross over to the other side of the valley we're going to go through that town and as you go up and higher and higher there's literally a road there and it looks awesome we're going up there as a whole the road surface isn't great but you do get these smoother patches and the road has got quieter as we've got up there's been less cars we're roughly 12k in and the gradient's been pretty kind to us so far to be fair still hovering around like five to maximum eight percent as we get higher and higher feels like we've got the mountains to ourselves we're not far off from the clouds now so unfortunately the views are over for us but i'll get back to you when we're at the top as we gain that altitude now you can tell the the temperature is dropping we are about to enter a tunnel make sure you bring your lights so we found out why there's no cars up here but we can walk over as we've gone through some of the tunnels this valley has decided to grace us with its view apparently they mine more marble here than anywhere else in the world and i can see why there's loads of it here actually it wasn't too bad i mean it's long so i'm gonna give it a four out of five towards the top it starts to get to like seven eight percent but it's really consistent there's no real steep patches um but in terms of what you get to see i mean this is stunning absolutely stunning especially as you go through the tunnels over there as you come out the tunnel there you get here to the garfagnano region and just enjoy it on the way down and with that let's go to number one We are now on Vergemoli, or what I'm calling Vergemoli. Um, I've been looking forward to this one the most, so let's hope it lives up to the hype. Starting at the bottom of the valley, rather than at the bottom of the Vergemoli climb bit itself. We're only just getting started, and look at this. We've still got 7K to Vergemoli. Now's a good of time of any to talk about the gradient. It's kind of been hovering between like three and probably around five, six percent. I literally love this climb already. We're not even that deep into it literally this ride cannot get any better look at this look at this wow well if i had to describe this climb it's easily the gem of luca cycling it's unbelievable look at that behind me i'm going to say this a lot in this video but look at it the road has actually got steeper now we're approaching bits more like eight nine ten twelve percent but you do get those sections where it levels off and flattens off for you when you look at a road like this from above, it's just spectacular. If you're doing any climb at all here in, tu in Luca, or even Tuscany for that matter, this is the one to do. The climb does actually get a bit steeper towards the top there. We are literally by Vergemoli now, or is it Vergemoli? Italians, please let me know. As you get higher there, it does become more unrelenting, the gradient. It stays between seven and 10%. So it's definitely gonna put it up to a four or five star for me. But in terms of how nice the climb was, how fun it was, I mean, look at this view. It's insane, literally insane. So this easily takes my number one spot. Like this might have been the best climb I've ever done. The most beautiful climb ever. This isn't technically the top of the climb. We do still have a few kilometers to go. We gotta go up there still. So when you get to Vergemoli, you gotta keep going. It's worth it to keep going around by the way. So you get to actually enjoy the view of Vergemoli itself. 